Now I'm going to go over um, how to adjust some of your settings in the Google Duo app on an iPhone. So go ahead and open up the app and to get into your settings you're going to want to go ahead and tap the three dots in the top right hand corner and then tap on settings. Once you're in settings you see you get a bunch of different options here and we'll kind of go um, from the top to bottom here. The first one is knock knock. So um, as you can see it says see who's calling with knock knock. Basically when someone calls you on duo it'll pop up and it'll actually show um, their face and everything whatever is on their camera so you can see who it is um, before you answer. So that's kind of a nice little privacy thing you can see who's calling before you actually pick it up. It'll also show their contact information as well if you have that saved. Um, but it's also um, just kind of nice to see who's calling. Keep in mind, you will be able to see their video feed, but they won't be able to see yours until you answer the call. So you can turn that on or off if you so choose in the settings here. The next thing is low light mode. Um, automatically helps others see you better. Um, so if you're in a dark room or, or something like that, or it's night out and I'm going to have a dark background, you can turn on low light mode and that'll help brighten up your video feed so people can see you better. The next option is limit mobile data usage. Um, so this will, if you turn this on, this will um, bring down your video quality and probably your audio quality a bit. That way you're not using as much data um, if you're um, on mobile. But if you're on Wi-Fi, it won't limit anything. Um, so you can turn that on or off here as well. The next option is notifications, and this is the notifications for the Duo app. And you can go on and look through these and be like, no, I don't want to get a notification for who's new on Duo and things like that. So you can turn that on and off. And if you want more control over these notification settings, you can go into the iPhone settings, notifications, and the Duo app and get some more options there. But there are um, some here too if you want to quickly turn those on or off. Next option is you can block users. Um, so you can go ahead and just add a user you want to block. Um, the next thing you hear, see here is your phone number that's tied to your Duo account. You have to have one um, tied to your Duo account in order to use Google Duo. So that pops up there. And then the next option here is kind of the big option that probably most everyone's going to want to go ahead and do. But you're going to want to go ahead and add your Google account, so a Gmail account, um, to your Duo account. Reasons you might want to do that is people can then use your Gmail account to go ahead and call you on Duo. Or you can actually go ahead and use Duo for web if you want to. So if you want to call someone on Duo um, on your laptop, you can go to Duo's website. If you just Google search Google Duo, it'll be the first link that pops up. You can sign in with that Gmail account and you can call people. Um, do keep in mind Duo for web um, right now is a little limited. Um, it can only do individual calls. It can't do group calls yet. Um, you can't make or receive group calls on du Google Duo for web. So just keep that in mind. Um, so you can go ahead and click add account. And once you do that, you can select the Gmail account here. You're already signed into your phone. If you're not, it'll ask you to go ahead and sign into um, your Gmail account. Um, another thing is if you have an iPad or something, you're going to want to go ahead and do this because then on your iPad, you can sign in with your Gmail account on Google Duo. Um, and through the iPad, since it is the Duo app, you can go ahead and make um, group calls if you want to. There's no limitation there. So we're going to go ahead and click Agree. And there we go. So if we jump back into our settings, you'll see uh, here where it says Account, um, you now have that Gmail account. And you can remove that account from Duo or delete the Duo account altogether if you want to. So those options are there. The next thing you get here are Manage um, Siri Shortcuts. Um, I don't have any of those set up for Duo, but if you know how to go and set up shortcuts, you can go ahead and do that and manage them here. And then the last one is just terms and conditions and things like that. So you can go there and look at those if you really want to. So that's how you go ahead and adjust some of the settings on 
um, Google Duo on an iPhone and how you can add your Gmail account so you can use Duo for web or use Google Duo on your iPad or something like that. So hopefully that helps.